I did not like living in reality. Reality was forget about reality. I have to have the dream. I have to have a goal. I have to get up every morning and, and go after something. And I believe in that bodybuilding and fitness is makes your life better. But some of the young 20 year olds, they say things to me like, isn't it really sad, Tom, that you gained all that muscle in the 1980s only to lose it now? Muscle's temporary. It's a temporary thing. So is life. I mean, so is life itself. It's temporary. It's all temporary. Someday, it's going to be your last day. Someday, it's going to be our last day. So I'm going to live every day as if it's my last day and do stuff that I always wanted to do because I don't want to go, oh man, I'm dying tomorrow. I'm dying now and I missed it. Gym. You want success. You want results. You have to do something about it. You just can't hope for it. You can't expect it just to happen because you showed up. You can't just expect it to happen because you did a few of these and a few of those and you know you ate some protein and all that stuff. You have to take action. You have to demand it from the universe, you have to demand it from your workouts and insist that it happens right now, here and now. And without that kind of lead up, you're just spinning your wheels, you're not really doing anything, you're just pretending to be some kind of bodybuilder or something like that. In a final measure, properly defined, intensity refers to the percentage of possible momentary muscular effort being exerted. Does anyone require that I state that again? Got it? Now, since the definition I just gave you is rather abstract or technical, in fact, when I first read that definition, I didn't have the slightest clue. What the hell does that mean, I thought. Now I do understand it perfectly. The best way to clarify a highly abstract or technical definition is to go to a concrete example in perceptual reality. You, like any healthy, well-conditioned person, are capable of exerting yourself with a maximum effort at any given moment. When I was 10 years old, my father died from cancer. When my father died in 30 days, he died. He was just gone like that. Ten years after that, my mother died of cancer. I just started doing a lot of research on health, how to eat. Because nobody in my family ate right. They would always just eat anything. And then that led me into the gym. And in the gym, I found peace because it was almost like a therapy for myself. I found something that nobody could take away from me. I just took all the passion out into it eating, sleeping, and training. I didn't want to go to school or anything like this because all the kids were laughing at me in school because I didn't have a father. But I had that gym, you know, and that gym taught me a discipline, taught me sacrifice, and it just taught me how to trust my decisions.